So we are trying to make pasta, uh, tapioca, kabia with the fillet pasta maker. Um, so I'm making a mess because I'm trying to discover how to make the pasta um, using the pasta maker with doing kabia. So this is how it worked for me. I used one bag of the tapioca starch and then one, one bag of the rice flours and then um, half cup of the uh, gluten rice flour okay so um, I put all my flour in a bowl and I mix it okay I mix it to make sure it, it will mix together okay and then I have a boiling water this is boiled water okay boil water so I'm gonna add three cups of boiling water into my bowl I'm not gonna use it I'm gonna set it there Ooh. I use glove so it's not too hot um, if you use bare hands, it's going to be super hot, so use a spoon, but because I use glove, so it's fine. Okay, so I mix all these. With the pasta maker, you have to use, uh, and with this um, tapioca, uh, tapioca thing, you have to use boiling water. Otherwise, when your noodle comes out, it's, it doesn't come out right because the noodles are broken. So you have to use hot, really hot water. So you know, pretty much you cannot cook the flour already. So when when your noodle come out, it is not too um, broken. Okay. So it's super hot, but I use gloves. You can double glove if you want to, so you can um, knead it like I do here. Um, the pasta maker can't do it if you make it too sticky. It's gonna clog out. Okay, so you're gonna cut out your um, pasta maker. So I think this is about the right texture, and I can feel that I can feel the noodle is kind of sticky. Well, I need it here, so I know that my noodle is gonna come out not broken because I can feel the noodles are cooked. Okay, um, and if you happen to add too much water to your dough, um, your pasta maker is gonna cut out so you can add a little bit of a, uh, like the tapioca flour to your dough so that it's loose loose and it won't clog your um, maker okay so I think this is the right texture um, for the pasta maker so it's nice and loose okay the pasta maker can only do nice and loose. If it's more sticky or this, it's gonna get stuck in there. So this is, I, um, so this is the perfect um, texture, loose. But I can feel the needle or kind of like uh, the noodles are uh, all right. But you know, if you want to add a little bit more water to it to make sure your noodle are broken, you can add a little bit more water to it. I'm just gonna do it, and then if if too sticky, see this is too sticky, then my machine is gonna get caught out. But like I said, if it's too sticky like this, you can always add a little bit more of um of uh, powder too, um, tapioca powder too to make it loose, but by the time I knead and dry, I knead this, it's going to be very loose, okay, okay, but you can pour for now, 